good day everyone uh, now we'll uh, discuss how to interface a seven segment led display with uh, 8051 microcontroller so before getting into the program we should understand how this uh, uh, seven segment led display is basically connected with uh, uh, with the supply so we need to understand its basics so we'll uh, see into the basics so as far as the uh, hardware that i'm going to use is concerned we are going to use the common cathode mode seven segment led display so in which the arrangement has been made like this uh, a b c d e f g so this is connected i mean uh, possibly we'll be connecting this a b c d e f g towards our <coughs> port one uh, or port zero or whatever it is so in the uh, from the ports whichever the bit is being provided with uh, one that particular led glows so each led is being connected to a single segment so you have a uh, uh, one two uh, three four five six and seven segments so it is represented as seven segment in addition to these <coughs> seven segments you have a decimal point <coughs> sorry so um, so if you want to represent some character we'll have to um, represent with this seven segment so by glowing uh, whichever the uh, items that we want for example if you want to um, make a zero out of this seven segment we'll be making a b c d e f s uh, one so you'll get a zero so you can uh, make some uh, uh, alpha characters also so not all the characters can be represented but uh, some characters can be represented uh, you can see a uh, in caps and b in small letter c in caps and d in small letter so these things we'll have to compromise so caps and uh, uh, small letters will be combined so that uh, uh, we can uh, do the things much more uh, easily so you can see here the yes and five or uh, almost uh, looking equ uh, equivalent and uh, 2 and z are also looking equivalent so while uh, reading there are uh, there is always the option of getting confused i mean there is all, always the um, so while uh, you go for uh, representing any uh, alpha characters you are limited with this one so if you want to represent uh, much more uh, specific precise characters then we'll have to choose lcd display the seven segment led only will be um, i mean used in case if uh, more numbers and very few characters are, are to be displayed so so here i have represented uh, what, uh, what are all the numbers that uh, can be represented here um, for the value zero <coughs> as i have already told you a b c d e and f has to be made one so that's equivalent hexadecimal is 3f so totally 8 bit has been represented over here a b c d e f g and p is the decimal point so decimal point in all the cases it will be zero so our uh, program will have the algorithm as like uh, uh, it will um, in uh, it will show a number for some time and after that it will get incremented and it will be displaying the uh, numbers uh, in the format like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 one two three so it go, it will go on like that so that is the algorithm of the program that i'm going to do so to do the program uh, we'll have to first uh, um, get our uh, values uh, correct so that values has been represented over here so for zero I've, as i've already told you you can see over here and for one you can see b and c has to be made one so b and c has been made one so b and c in the sense you can see you can uh, always convert the binary to hexadecimal with this format 8421 and 8421 so 4 and 2 are 1 so 456 so 06 the conversion of binary to hexadecimal so um, uh, then you have 2 to represent 2 a b g e and d has to be made 1 a b so a b you can see and uh, g and d has been made one a b d e and g a b d e and g so uh, when you convert that one to its equivalent uh, hexadecimal 
you'll get it as 5b so again 8 4 2 1 so 4 plus 1 5 here 8 4 2 1 so 8 um, 8 9 a and b so 5b so similarly you can uh, do it for 3 for 3 it is uh, a b g c d so for 3 a b uh, g c d so same thing has been represented here so it is 8 4 2 1 4 and this is uh, all 1 so it is becoming f so you can uh, go on representing any numbers or uh, characters like this but for the program that we are going to do I am going to make only the numbers I am not going to make any characters so if you feel like you want to do some uh, characters you can always do that so I am going to connect only a single uh, uh, sound segment LED and I will make it active with only one bit <clears throat> so in case if you want to have um, multiple bits so multiple ports has to be connected and uh, multi uh, those ports also has to be activated with individual um, port pins so getting into the program so whatever the numbers that we have uh, obtained from this table so you can uh, always uh, mean uh, compare this one with the uh, a B C D that has been represented so you can make your own uh, uh, lookup table so this lookup table after creating this what I am doing is I am making a uh, table uh, lookup table over here or truth table you can see I have uh, specified a C V E as the label and uh, here uh, define byte I have uh, specified with 3 F H 0 6 H 5 B H those are all the numbers that we have obtained for individual uh, to represent individual numbers 3f for uh, representing 0 and 06 for representing 1 and 5b for representing um, 2 and uh, so on and so forth so that uh, address I'll be initializing first mov dptr comma hash seve -E. so when I'm representing this uh, mov dptr comma hash seve -E, the uh, memory address of this particular uh, data is being stored inside the dptr so this process is taken care by the assembler kale assembler so just we'll uh, write the label over here it will uh, do the operation by itself then <coughs> so the number of uh, numbers we need to keep track so otherwise uh, what it will happen is it will start to uh, start to print all the numbers which is not available in the lookup table lookup table ends at uh, uh, the number 10 so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 only 10 numbers we have so that uh, mean uh, <coughs> that size I'll have to represent in R0 register that I have represented over here then CLRA it clears the A because uh, when I'm having a lookup table I'll have to fetch the lookup table content uh, from the code memory this is this will be saved inside the code memory when I'm representing over here so when I'm getting a, fetching any data from the code memory I'll have to use this instruction MOVC that is a move code memory a comma at the rate a plus DPTR so you have this uh, as a syntax you can't remove this a from the DPTR but we are not going to add any offset towards this D DPTR so what I am doing is I am clearing the accumulator first then I am using this instruction MOVC A comma at the rate uh, A plus DPTR so now the first value 3F will be stored inside the accumulator then I am using this uh, <coughs> set bit P0.0 .0. so I am going to use the port 1 as the output port for uh, putting all the values while I am I'll be using port uh, P0.0 .0 for um, activating that particular um, seven segment LED display because in the hardware board that we are going to see we will be having uh, uh, four different seven segment LED displays out of which we need to select which uh, seven segment LED display that we want to uh, present with so uh, for doing that I will be using this port P0.0 .0 and I will be connecting a wire from zero port uh, P0.0 .0 to the select uh, I mean select pin of uh, that seven segment LED so to do that I am using this instruction then MOV P1 comma <coughs> A so so here MOV P1 comma A um, I am moving the content that I have fetched from the 
fetched from the <coughs> lookup table. 3F will be moved into P1 and the P1 content I will be that uh, that is A, B, C, D, E, F, uh, G, H. I uh, will be moving on A, B, C, D, E, F, G and P not H. I uh, will be uh, connecting it towards the uh, 7 segment LED. So that is moved into P1 then after doing that so we need to have a delay if uh, we are not giving any delay what will happen is it the operation will go on so fast that you can't see any numbers at all it will be going in microseconds so we need to have a delay to do that I am including a subroutine called delay a call delay then I am incrementing the DPTR so that uh, initially 3F is fetched uh, next 06 has to be fetched so after incrementing the DPTR I am uh, um, using this instruction decrement and jump if no 0 R0 so R0 is decremented by 1 and it has been checked whether the value has gone to 0 or not if it has not gone to 0 then I will be returning back to clear A then uh, MOVC A comma the rate A plus DPTR that is like uh, the next 6 is fetched and that is being put into P1 then again I am calling the delay again now I am incrementing the DPTR so it goes to the next memory address then again I will uh, decrement the R0 and check whether it has gone to 0 so, uh, uh, so this happens till your 6F is fetched when 6F 6F is fetched after that A becomes 0 so it will come out of this loop and it will go to start again and your DPTR will be reinitialized to this memory address again so because like it has to start from 0 again when 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 is completed then it has to go to 0 again and from 0 it has to start and it has to go to uh, 9 again so to do that operation I am having this edge jump start so this is the inner loop and when this inner loop is getting completed I'll go to the outer loop to reinitialize the values and do the operation again <coughs> so coming to the delay subroutine so we have used the same delay subroutine in the previous uh, program uh, so you have R R1 with the value 10 R2 with the value FF and R3 with the value FF DJ and Z R3 comma L1 so R3 is decremented and uh, it is checked whether it has gone to 0 and uh, if it has not gone to 0 it will stay in this instruction and it will decrement the R3 so this will go on till your R3 goes to 0 and when R3 goes to 0 it goes to DJ and Z R2 R2 will be decremented once and it comes over here R3 is reloaded again and then again DJ and Z com uh, comes uh, into picture so this happens till your R3 and R2 goes to 0 so FF into FF times this loop will go on so after this has gone then your R1 will be decremented once when both R3 and R2 is uh, gone to 0 once uh, R1 will be decremented only once then after that it will be reloaded and this uh, decrementing goes on again and again so your delay is 10 into FF into FF times the loop will be going on so this will give a a consistent delay so that you can uh, uh, see the um, numbers getting changed with your uh, normal vision so this is the program and uh, ACVE defined byte 3F so whatever the values that uh, you have obtained you can directly give over here and this is the end of the program so as far as this simulation is concerned we can just see the <coughs> numbers getting uh, um, printed in I mean port uh, 1 but uh, these numbers only you can see but you can't see the um, number created by your 7 segment LED display so to see that you need to connect the 7 segment LED display and uh, see it in hardware so now uh, I am running the program so port 1 you can see uh, different values are being uh, put over here and it is running so so after doing this uh, to do the hardware you'll have to click this options for target and change this value to 11.0592 megahertz and click use on chip ROM and output you click this create hex file and the name of the executable file will be created as the uh, name that you are given for the project so you can select uh, uh, folder objects 
so programs objects the hex file will be created so that hex file will be dumping into your hardware so you will uh, um, see the output from the hardware so after doing this you need to uh, translate build and uh, rebuild again so you'll have to get zero errors now rt hex file will be created so to check that you can see uh, inside the so you can see rt.hex is created so this file you can dump into the hardware so let us check how to dump it into the hardware that okay so uh, we have done the program and after doing it uh, so you can click on this options for target and uh, click this output so in this output you'll have to click this uh, create hex file so from the create uh, hex file your uh, uh, executable file will be created by the name that you have created the project with so you can navigate and check where it is getting saved so it is saved in the objects in my folder so and one other thing is your uh, target crystal oscillator frequency should be kept at 11.0592 megahertz and you can pick this use on chip rom also click okay then uh, translate build and rebuild your uh, uh, first dot hex file will be uh, created and that file you'll have to um, browse it through the <coughs> browse it into this hex file tab so first dot hex click open and then uh, this uh, um, device is 89v51 rd2 com port is com1 and uh, baud rate is 9600 options for target click this advanced option hardware config here this use dtr to control R, uh, rst should be unchecked and click okay now after doing all these things you will have to check whether this erase all flash and verify after programming has been checked this is supposed to be kept in checked position then click this start <coughs> so now the code is dumping you press this reset button and the code is been dumped now we go for connecting the circuitry so so now i am connecting this uh, port 1 uh, the least significant bit is connected to the a and the most significant bit is connected to the dec this decimal point पोर्ट वन इज कनेक्टेड एंड फ्रॉम पी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो एंड कनेक्टिंग इट टू दी जीरो सो नाउ यू कैन सी दी नंबर्स गेटिंग चेंज थैंक यू सॉफ्ट